Hi everyone, it's Bella Geminals and today I'm going to be doing a DIY of this acrylic clutch. It'll go from this to this. So in the past, I've made several of these acrylic clutches where I transformed them from a simple box clutch to this being a honeybee design. And I used a necklace that I deconstructed in order to use it as the main accent charms. And then I added some embellishments and rhinestones throughout. So this is the milky pink DNG dupe that I did, and I was inspired by, of course, Dolce Gabbana. You can see here all the accents, and I put a hefty, hefty chain. The last one I designed here was the scenic mural, and this is an ocean bottom floor. I did put a pearl handle, and this one's a beautiful blue, and I love how this one was transformed as well. For this design, you'll need some accent silver studs. You'll need some door knocker accents, your trusted E6000 with the pointed nozzle, a spoon or spatula, a brush. You'll also need plastic wood filler. Make sure to always use your industrial mask. I have been thinking about this design for over a year. I had been sitting on it but I was asked recently if I was going to do DIYs again, and of course I am going to be doing them. I just wasn't inspired, and when I read that comment recently, I thought, well, let's start getting to work on the DIYs since you guys really love those. Most of these products are from Amazon. I'll post links to everything down below. First thing I want to mention is that we're designing the front of the bag, so make sure when you open it, it is upright. Your surface needs to be clean. So before we start adhering the door knockers to the bags, we're going to fill them with the plastic wood since these are hollow. So before you add the plastic wood to the door knockers, since they're hollow and you need to fill them, you are going to add some scotch tape to the back in order to prevent the plastic wood from leaking because it will leak out in the front. So make sure that it is as flat as possible so you don't have to sand the back. You need a flat surface to be able to adhere it to the bag. You want to set it upright in order for it not to move. And if I turn it over, you can see there is no leaking on the other side. Set it upright to dry for several hours. This is what it's going to look like when it's fully dry. I also did one that did not have the tape so you could see how messy it looks on the other side. So always use the tape. For this project, you'll need six and one package comes with 12. So while the door knockers are drying, you're going to be adhering the studs. I'm using tweezers, picking up the studs, dipping them in glue. Always start with the edges, then the center. You'll have to watch these carefully so they don't slide. Now you know how many fit in between these two studs. It isn't just putting embellishments on a bag, it's strategically placing them. So map it out in your head prior to. That's a safe distance between both. That's a safe distance between both. At this point, make sure you straighten them out and set it outside to dry before you continue to the outside of the bag. The bag is fully dry. I put the studs on top and bottom. I did not put them on the sides this time. Now I am going to be filling the backs of these door knockers. Now that they're dry, I'm going to be adding my E6000. I made sure that the lion heads were aligned and symmetrical. Let these dry for a few hours. Okay, so this is what it looks like fully dry. You see the top, you see the front. I did add these studs off camera. You see the bottom. So it is fully dry and you can see how the door knockers can still move. And that's because we put the tape inside. So this is the finished look. The bag does come with the chain, but it is a rinky dink. You know that I do not like hardware that is flimsy. So 
I'm going to replace it with this bad boy. This chain is from Amazon. As I said, I will be posting the links down below. It is in my storefront. So this is what it looks like on. This bag is hefty. It is so beautiful. It does not look like a $17 acrylic bag. This could be a $1,700 bag if you saw it at a specialty store. So I really hope that you liked this design. If so, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up or pop a comment below, perhaps do both. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.